players and teams using the same word, family. We hear it so often it can seem hollow, but for Gene Chiswick, the word has deep meaning and its connection to football is clear. He sees it every time he looks at his son. It is the first thing we're given and the last we leave. But how we carry a name is why it lives on. There was no question year after year after year that when I have a family and my firstborn son, there was no question what his name was going to be. Looking over the middle, the ball intercepted. Callie Belcher with the interception at the 10-yard line. Callaway Belcher, Callie to all was a high-performing, hard-hitting safety for 1AA Stephen F. Austin in Texas when Gene Chiswick arrived there as an assistant coach in 1992. Say something, Chiz. Coach, I'm spokeless right now. <laughs> <laughs> spokeless. Totally spokeless. The two bonded immediately. I think Gene saw a lot of himself in Cali, in the way Cali played, the way Cali held himself, the way Cali represented himself in the school. He had academics, he had the look, handsome guy, he, he had it all. He had the world really, you know, by the tail. And uh, you'd have never known it by talking to him. I just feel that there are no limits to this ball club, but we can go as high as we want. In 1994, after an all-conference junior season, Cali switched to linebacker during spring football practice. March 22nd, during drills, he took a blow to the helmet. He went ahead and finished the drill, and as he was walking off, he collapsed uh, right there by the 40-yard line. A lot of things go through your mind, uh, none of probably which are very good, uh, but uh, you just walk over, and, and just the sight of what potentially could be gives you a very heavy heart. Rushed to the hospital, Callie fell into a coma by the time his family arrived. Gene went in with us so he could ask the questions that we couldn't, knowing he was there to help us get through that process. And he knew who to call and to get all those people to help us. We couldn't have made it without him. Callie had suffered a brain hey. aneurysm. A week after he collapsed on the field, he died. I had the privilege of being there when he was born, and I had the privilege of being there when he passed. And it was, uh, he had a great spirit. He was a wonderful person. And we had the privilege of knowing him for 22 years. Callie's death devastated the program and hit his position coach, Gene Chiswick, especially hard. I spent a lot of time just thinking, why us, why him, why the family? You know, all of the questions that you can imagine. I remember looking over into his face and just knowing that his heart was broken just like ours was. Somewhere in that moment, I remember saying, you know what? One day, I'm going to be a dad, and I'm going to name my son Callie. Chiswick would eventually leave Stephen F. Austin for a position at Central Florida, he would get married to his wife, Jonna. They would have twin daughters. And then, more than six years after Callie Belcher died, the Chiswicks had a son. When it was time to name your child and you throw around different names, uh, there was really one that came up, and that was it. And uh, at that point, it was pretty much done. July 26, 2000, Eugene Callaway Chiswick was born. But everyone knows him by one name. Callie. We called them after Callie was born. Just wanted to let them know that, that we're going to have another Callie in the world. It's such a wonderful thing for Gene to still remember that pledge that he made to name that precious child after Callie. Callie Chiswick is 10 years old. His name is his own, but he knows where it came from. He does understand where he got his name. Uh, he does understand that there was a young man that uh, is everything that I would like him to be. That's where his name originated, and he knows that.
Kelly Belcher's legacy lives on in so many ways. Just won a scholarship bearing his name, which continually is given out at Stephen F. Austin to a student who embodies his qualities. Callie Chiswick is yet to meet the Belcher family. Gene Chiswick said he'll bring his son to meet them when he's fully old enough to understand. He expects that meeting to be emotional and about one word, family.